Hello, my name is Teresa Fincher, and I'm the Director of Philanthropy and Operations for the Pirelli Foundation. We are excited to bring to you a new series of educational videos that features our 2015 Road to the Summit courses and the licensed Pirelli professionals that are paired with them. Each of the Pirelli professionals will demonstrate for you with their Road to the Summit course how they integrate one of the seven games into their horse development process. Today we are featuring three-star licensed Pirelli professional Margit Dierman and the horse she's been paired with, A.R. Murata Skyline, otherwise known as Rocky. Margit will be sharing with you today how she integrates the friendly game and the sideways game into her horse development process. We hope you enjoy this educational video. Hi everyone, Margit Dierman here with Rocky and today we're going to just touch on a couple of the seven games, first one being friendly game. Another name for friendly game is the confidence game. And again, Pat puts it as number one because it's the most important. If I'm going to build confidence in this prey animal, then I'm going to need to really gain his trust. So friendly game is about rhythmic motion. I've got some rhythm, relaxation, and retreat. So today we're going to show you the sideways game. And one of the best ways to start your sideways, if you've never played it before, is to do it on a fence. And first of all, um, I'm going to make sure that I've got my driving game pretty good with the front end and the back end. And then I'm going to also make sure that my friendly game is good and that my horse doesn't portray this as any kind of pressure. All right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with my back to the fence. And all I'm going to do is send my horse to the fence. So I'm going to ask him to back up a little bit. And I'm going to ask him then to go to the fence. But I'm going to stay at the fence. As soon as he gets there, I'm going to relax. All right. Then I'm going to change hands. I'm going to ask him to step across and go to the fence. And relax. My rope hand, the hand that my rope is in, is always open. The only time that it'll close is when I get to the end and I need to hold on to my horse. But I really want to have a really soft follow a feel. And you go to the fence that way. Let it slide until it gets to the fence and relax. Okay? So once I've got that, then I'm going to actually ask him to move sideways down the fence and again I'm going to reward the slightest try. So if you've never done this before you may just want to do a couple steps. So I'm going to ask my horse to go sideways down the fence. My right hand will be the rope hand. It will be open and it will be almost like I've got a serving tray and I'm walking down the fence with my tray. So that's kind of the feel. What that's going to do is going to push zone one. Then my other hand, my left hand, is going to be in an L. So I'm going to be in an L shape. And I'm just going to put some rhythmic motion on my hips. And my energy is going to push my horse down the fence. So let's see, let's see what happens here. So I'm going to ask my horse to back up. Go to the fence. After he passes my belly button, I'm already going to start walking. Okay, I'm going to start walking with rhythm in my carrot stick. As soon as I get a couple steps, I'm going to relax. Okay, that's great. Now I'm going to ask him to go the other hand way. I'm going to change hands. I'm going to ask him to step over to the fence. I start walking. Now I've got my hand closed because he's trying to pull away, but I stay next to the fence no matter what. As soon as he gives me a couple good steps, relax. My focus is up over the withers, and my energy is up over the withers. So let's do it one more time. Back him up. We'll ask him to step over. As soon as he passes my belly button, I'm going to start walking. In an L shape. His job is to stay out of reach of my carrot stick. No 
matter what he does, I just keep walking. As soon as he gives me a couple steps, I relax. Good. And I ask him to go the other way. There we go. my L. I'm close to the fence. He gives me some really nice steps like that. I relax. Pretty easy, huh? The idea about the, friend, uh, the sideways game is that it's really good for horses that are really forward. Horses that have a lot of forward, it counterbalances them. In order for um, a horse to go sideways, he really has to think about where his feet are. Um, so Pat has a saying, the better your horse goes backwards and sideways, the better he'll do everything else. So go out and try it and hope you get as much success as Rocky and I. If you love what you see here with Rocky, and you think he might be a potential partner for you, you can go check out his pedigree video at our Natural Horsemanship Challenge Facebook page, or you can visit PirelliFoundation.org forward slash RTTS 2015. The pedigree video will give you a lot of detail on his breeding, how his name came about, and what the Pirelli professional loves about this horse. We are excited to let you know that the auction site is now available for viewing with the bidding start date on these Atwood horses, August 1st. We also want to let you know that there are a number of categories of bidding value items. You're really going to enjoy some of the things that we've got up for bid this year. So go peruse the site at biddynow.com forward slash road to the summit. And on the left hand side, you can select which category you're interested in viewing. I would like to thank Atwood Ranch for donating these six high quality horses. I'd also like to thank our licensed Pirelli professionals that are starting and developing these horses along the journey to the road to the summit. We would like to thank Fosh, Friends of Sound Horses, a charitable nonprofit 501c3, for sponsoring the 2015 Road to the Summit. Whether you are seeking information on gated horses, enjoying your horse, or interested in competing, Fosh is for you. Fosh is a membership organization that welcomes participation by owners of all gated horses to join and support the gated horse in all equine pleasures and disciplines. Fosh is also a national leader in promoting, supporting, and protecting gated horses. To learn more about Fosh, you can go to Fosh.info. And to learn more about Fosh's work to end soaring of Tennessee walking horses, you can go to StopSoaring.com. This ad is sponsored by Golden Stride Walker Ranch. We would like to thank McCabe's Repair and Welding for their sponsorship of the 2015 Road to the Summit. McCabe's has been in business over 24 years, and they're not located far from the Pirelli Center. McCabe's Repair and Welding works on trailers, concentrating on bearings, brakes, and lights, diesel pickups, and heavy equipment, as well as your regular vehicle. McCabe's is known within the community and known by Pirelli folks that travel in to Bogosa Springs, Colorado for being fair, high quality, and standing behind their work. In fact, several people have said that they wait to get their trailers worked on until they come to Pagosa Springs, Colorado. He's that high quality of a mechanic. To check out McCabe's Repair and Welding, when you're in Pagosa Springs, Colorado, you can call 970-731-3146, and they're located off of 113 Hoppy Drive. We would like to thank Young Living Essential Oils for their sponsorship of Road to the Summit 2015. Young Living Essential Oils has been a world leader in essential oils for both people and animals for over 20 years. With their exclusive seed to seal process, you can rest assured that you, your family, and your animals are getting the purest and highest grade essential oils and oil-infused products that nature has to offer. From a chemical-free barn and home to working on a deeper connection with your horse, Young Living Essential Oils is your go-to for achieving a naturally healthy and happy environment. Essential Oils offers you a natural alternative to physical and emotional healing methods by utilizing what natural already provides to us. For more information, you can call 540-300-7380 or visit EssentialOilsForUs.com. 
I would like to thank Chris and Terry Fulweiler of Starry Night Frisians for sponsoring the 2015 Road to the Summit. Chris and Terry Fulweiler are very active within Pirelli, whether it's through Pirelli Natural Horsemanship or the Pirelli Foundation. And let me tell you a little bit about Chris Fulweiler. Chris is passionate, caring, and committed not only to horses, but to Pirelli Natural Horsemanship and the Pirelli Foundation. Chris Fulweiler is a two-star licensed Pirelli professional, and you can find Chris Chris at least one to two times a year at one of the Pirelli Natural Horsemanship Centers. Chris has got a big heart and she serves on the board of directors for the Pirelli Foundation. And what most of us love about Chris is her passion and care for the Frisian breed. Chris got into Frisians when they were on the gravely endangered list. Frisians have now graduated from the conservancy list, but still being watched. And Chris was, and still is, diligent in preserving the quality of the Frisian. Chris says that she's always been grateful for the joy her Frisians bring her, and loves to share that joy with others, just like sharing her Frisian Wilder with with me at our wedding in Pagosa Springs, Colorado in 2012. Thank you again, Chris and Terry Fulweiler of Starry Night Frisians for sponsoring the Road to the Summit. Last but not least, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Prefert Ranch Equipment. You will find Prefert panels being used across the country by our Pirelli Natural Horsemanship instructors, as well as if you've been to a Pirelli Natural Horsemanship tour event, you'll find that Pirelli Natural Horsemanship uses them from event to event. Prefert Ranch Equipment is considered the leading innovator in the livestock handling industry. They produce equipment that is safe and durable for both animal and the operator. For more information on Prefert, you can find a dealer in your area by calling 1-800-527-8616 or visit prefert.com. We will continue to feature the Road to the Summit horses. You can go on to our Natural Horsemanship Challenge Facebook page and catch all the videos on these horses and follow their journey along the way. These horses are for sale and bidding will open up August 1st in preparation for Summit. We are excited to pair these colts up with such great Pirelli professionals. Stay tuned for more.